Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The architectural secret of Haldi Temple is revealed. A fugitive of Handing murder is captured. 450 civilians killed in Syria in the last 10 days. Record breaking temperatures in Europe. Genocide against Armenians documentary nominated for Emmy. Grammy music will help to digitize Armenian records. Archaeological works continue in the Ayanis neighborhood of the eastern province of Van, Western Armenia. As a result, architectural secrets of Haldi Temple were revealed. As the chief archaeologist of excavations, Dr. Professor Mehmed Isikli points out, Ayanis is the best preserved and last great fortress of Urartum. Ayanis Castle was constructed on a hill covering a significant view of Lake Van by Rusa, the second king of Urartum. 2,700 year old temple of Haldi is situated here. It is one of the most important and unique Urartian temple in the world, built of the stone and brick. The ornaments of temple and relief sculptures of the city walls are very remarkable. A fugitive from the 2007 murder of Hran Ding, journalist and the chief editor of the newspaper Agos, was captured on Friday. Tunchai Uzundal was arrested in his coastal province of Izmir. On July 17, court sentenced Uzundal to 17 years in prison as an accessory to murder as well as a terrorist group membership. More than 450 civilians were killed in the last 10 days in Syria, including more than 103 in the town of Idlib and Aleppo, announced the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet. She condemned the Syrian government under President Bashar al-Assad and its allies for the latest relentless campaign of airstrikes in a forceful statement, saying they have continued to hit medical facilities, schools and other civilian infrastructures such as markets and bakeries. Intentional attacks against civilians are war crimes and those who have ordered them or carried them out are criminally responsible for their actions, she added. In Europe, temperature continues to set records. In France and Germany, as well as in other European countries, the maximum temperature is recorded for three days. In many parts of the Netherlands, new record-breaking temperatures have been set with, with above 40 degrees. The Belgians, Spaniards, Italians and Portuguese also suffer from heat. Meteorologists predict that in the coming years, the air temperature in Europe will only increase. The Genocide Against Armenians themed documentary Intent to Destroy, directed by acclaimed director Joe Berlinger, was nominated for a News and Documentary Emmy Award in the Outstanding Historical Documentary category, reports Armenian National Committee of America. The 14th Annual News and Documentary Emmy Awards will be presented on September 24 at the ceremony at Lincoln Center Alice Tully Hall in New York City. About 1,500 recordings of Armenian music will be catalogued under a grant provided by the Grammy Museum. The museum is giving $2,000 to 15 different organizations to do scientific, music-related research and preserve important musical archives. The money is coming from the Grammy Museum grant program, which has been established to support various music-related scientific research projects, in addition to a number of archiving and preservation programs. The collection represents the voices of musicians whose social, economic, and political status forced them out of their homeland. Now let us represent to your attention a song, Sonaya. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.